Welcome back to another episode of Budget Honda Builders and today we're going to be working on the Prelude. Today's mission is to replace the um, key, the ignition key. I've tried to slide the ignition lock out. Um, I'm not having any luck. I believe down in that hole you have to pull that pin out and the whole lock cylinder will slide out but I cannot get that pin out so we're just going to replace the whole thing um, minus this piece I'm going to swap it out with the original just because the clip is I can't get that out either I don't know what happened I clipped it but then I can't get the clip out and I broke it and it's just it's fucked at this point so we'll unscrew this right here and slide this whole piece out do not want to lose this it slides into that little groove right there this right here is the actual ignition switch let's unscrew that and I'll show you how that works so basically when you uh, turn the key This little thing right here turns and it unlocks the ignition or the um, it unlocks the steering column lock which is right here and it turns this which then turns this and when this turns then your car starts if you ever want to steal a car or at least start it all you gotta do is unscrew this from the back of the ignition, put a screwdriver in there, and then your car starts. That's it, basically. But then you have to deal with the steering column lock. And that's a little bit more difficult, because this piece is pretty damn solid. But I'm gonna show you how to remove this from the Prelude. And this is the same on Pretty much all Hondas that I'm aware of, at least 88 through 2001. Okay, so on the underside of your steering wheel, you have this uh, little plastic piece, and there are six screws. You got one there, two here, one down here one over here and one right there once you unscrew that then you can unclip the top piece it's got little clips and you just slide that up and then the bottom piece will fall out and now we have our ignition it's fairly simple to remove but it does require a Dremel because the two bolts that are holding it are breakaway bolts. That way when they install it, they tighten it down, the head of the bolt breaks away. It just makes it easier to um, not be stolen. So I'm actually missing some uh, footage of uh, me cutting the breakaway bolts or the shear bolts or... Um, maybe they're called security bolts what it is it's like a bolt with a uh, a head on it and when you tighten it down it breaks the top of the head off and so it makes it more difficult to remove these what i did was i used a dremel with the cutting blade and i cut a slit into the top of the bolt and then that way you can use a Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew it. And so in the, in the next clip you'll see the, uh, the screws with a slit in it. Sorry I lost the footage or maybe I didn't even hit record. I, I don't know. But uh, let's continue the video. Alright and there's the first one. 
They're not really tight. Yeah, now that I say that, the problem is I screwed this, I cut that slit sideways. But we got it now. All right, and, and we got it unscrewed. Um, we just need to unscrew this let it hang just because I can't get this one off either I'm not sure if there's something that needs to go down into there or what all right and there we go we got that all apart And now we're just going to swap it back, swap the, the new one in, or at least the one for this key. That way all the key. So now we're just going to swap the other one on, um, the one for this key, because every lock in the car now uses this key, except for the ignition. And we want to make them all the same. One thing I want to show you is if you take the uh, if you take this black cover off, there's a screw here and a screw there, which it's not necessary to do so. But if you do, right in there, that little hole, you've got this piece. I'm not sure if you can see it, and that goes in that hole. You see it? Don't want to lose that piece. Pretty damn important because it has something to do with the, it hits one of these little switches. And so it has to do with something of where the ignition is, the position, I'm assuming, something to do with that. I could be completely wrong. All right, so now we're going to uh, put this back up in there, reuse our screws that we cut slits in, and tighten it down. All right, now that we've got our screws in, we just need to tighten it down. And that's pretty much it one thing I want to point out is this has like a little ledge on it or has a lip on it and on the steering column there's a lip for that to slide into so you want to make sure this is locked in place before you start tightening down before you start tightening down the top screws get all our clips back in place and you've got this blue one that goes into the actual switch and this green one that goes up here And we didn't do undo that one. We just replaced that whole piece. Oh shit. And we have this one that goes into this thing right here. All right, now we have our uh, new ignition with this key.
and it doesn't want to start the car. That missile plug. <laughs> Okay, and yet another fail in this video. At this point, I didn't realize that the Prelude had a, uh, an immobilizer. Um, I have a 98 CRV, and a buddy of mine has a uh, 2001 CRV, and those do not have immobilizers. I just assumed the uh, uh, immobilizers came in after 2001, like 2002 and newer, but apparently all the 5th gen Preludes they have this immobilizer. I do not believe the 4th gen preludes do, but I'm going to go ahead and split this video into two sections. Um, everything in this video is still relevant, but in order to get your car to start with your new key and your new um, ignition lock, you have to replace the immobilizer and the ECU from the same car you got the ignition lock from so in this second video I'll explain how to do all that and what to do and whatnot so uh, sorry about that um, but I'll have the second part up you know tomorrow or in the next day after that I usually try to upload every other day but I'll probably upload this one right away so probably tomorrow uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you all in the next video.